Hey guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tender and juicy slow cooker pork shoulder. In Spanish, it's known as pernil. Let's go over the ingredients. For this recipe, you're going to need one whole garlic bulb, three tablespoons of dried oregano, two tablespoons of sea salt, two tablespoons of adobo, two tablespoons of sazon, one fourth cup of white distilled vinegar, one half cup of oil, and I'll be using a three pound pasture raised pork shoulder. Check out my video on how to make your own easy adobo. Also, check out my video on how to make your own sazon. There's no MSG, no preservatives, and no salt. Now I've already rinsed and washed the pork shoulder. Now I'm just gonna clean it a little more with some white distilled vinegar. All right, so first we're gonna start by peeling off the garlic cloves. We're gonna smash the garlic in a mortar and a pestle first. Once the garlic is mashed, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredient. We're gonna add our salt, sazon, adobo, oregano, and olive oil. And we're gonna combine well to form a paste. Once that's done, we're gonna begin to season our pork shoulder. But first, we're gonna poke the roast all over with a knife. All right, so now we're just gonna slather all sides of the pork shoulder with the paste that we just made. And make sure that you push some into the slits that you created. Now we're just gonna let this marinate in the fridge for up to eight hours. You can also let this marinate for up to 24 hours if you prefer. And once our pork shoulder has marinated overnight, we're gonna place the pork shoulder into a slow cooker and we're gonna cook it on low for eight hours. And guys, if you're in a hurry, don't worry, you can also cook it on high for about four hours. And after the eight hours is up, your pork shoulder is gonna be ready to serve. We're gonna remove it from the slow cooker, place it in a tray, and we're gonna shred the meat into chunks with two forks. Just look at how juicy this pernil came out. This dish is definitely a Puerto Rican staple. We usually make this for Christmas, New Year's, and everybody just loves gathering around a nice, tender, and juicy pernil and fixing it with some lovely sides. It's seriously the best. This dish pairs well with some rice and beans, a macaroni salad, or if you're on a low carb diet, a plain salad with some vinaigrette would do just fine. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my recipes, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And remember, the secret ingredient is always love.